Hello there, Pi Ben here and welcome back to another Tears of the Kingdom video guide. In this guide we have another glitch that I have not seen covered on YouTube as of the time of recording. Again, I did not discover this glitch, however, I am also not sure who did. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments so I can credit them. Before we get started with the video, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everybody for the support on the last video. It was just incredible. The shoutouts from the larger creators, all the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the shares. It was just incredible. I went to bed thinking I'd maybe get 100 views for, on the video and I woke up to 25,000. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was still dreaming. So <laughs> thank you all very much for the support. Now let's get on with the video. This glitch is the food ability buff swap. It's a very simple glitch. All you need to do is be near an NPC that is selling food. This one here, for example, sells seared steak and a roasted bass. She can be found here on the map beside the Mayamat Shrine. First thing you need to do is make sure you don't have any of the seared steak or the roasted bass in your food tab. Oh. So here we've got the roasted bass, so we'll just eat this. Get rid of it. And we have no seared steak. Now what we need to do is make a food with the ability that we want. So we're going for bonus hearts here. So yeah. let's just make something pretty simple. So hold this and hurry trials. And cook them. So here we have a meal with full recovery and plus four of the extra hearts. Now, what we need to do is make sure that the item we just made, the one that has the buff that we would like to copy, is make sure it's left in this spot. So do not sort it, whatever you do. Just make sure it's left here and then eat it. As you can see, we get the extra hearts. Now, the very last part of the, the glitch. Head over here. Buy yourself the roasted bass. Let's just buy all of them. Yep, all three I'll buy. Perfect. And if we check our inventory. Oh. Here we go. A roasted bass with a plus four hearts. It's that simple. It basically... It's like the ability or the buff has been left in that spot and any food that's replaced it has now got it. Um, but now if we want to stack it, so I've got the Hyrule Bass here. So we can duplicate this so we have more Bass. To do that, we hold. We drop that down. Pick them back up. That way it's at the end of our inventory. And we shield jump. Pause. Grab something with one, hold, and then hold our bass, and then back up the menu. Pick it all up, and now we have six. So let's cook them, this, uh, this bass. So let's hold all we can, five. And let's drop this down. And we shall roast it. There we go. These are roasted now, and as we can see from here, we've got three with this plus four hearts. Let's pick up the roasted bass. We now have seven. I think one just disintegrated there, but you get the point. And we can just keep stacking that, and we'll have unlimited hearts. Now, just to be clear, this works with any ability so i'm away to go up into the the snow area to do the, the first temple because i've yet to do the first temple so i want cold resistance so let's eat the cold resistant food let's go and buy the seared steak take them all please because i'll need them all buy them check it there we go cold resistance again you can do this with any of the food buffs, including these elixirs. I just drank a sticky elixir 
or the slope resistance and then I went and bought some more sear steak and I got the buff. So it really can be done with anything. I would just like to say thank you all for watching. I hope this video guide helped and if it did please leave a like and subscribe. Turn the notifications on so you know when I upload my next video guide. Thank you all and see you next time.